Alright, hello YouTube and YouTube subscribers. Today we're going to be doing a species profile on the dwarf Grammy, which is called currently called Trigogaster Lelia. It was previously called Calicia Lelia, but the name was changed for a uh, legal reason, which I'm not going to really go through since it's not really that important anyway. Now the uh, dwarf Grammy is um, a fish that is difficult to keep. Not because it's a difficult fish to keep, it's just that it's difficult to find good dwarf grammys. So this guy was like the only good dwarf grammy found in the uh, Winnipeg. Because a lot of dwarf grammys on the market nowadays, they're just bad genetics, disease prone. A lot of them got a disease anyway. Uh, about 25% of them carry a certain virus that spreads quite quickly to dwarf grammys when they're in... Um, when they're in sh dealer shops, and that's the reason why I've met some dealers who actually refuse to order Dwarf Grammys because of that virus. Now, all said and done, if you can get a good quality Dwarf Grammy, like the one I have here, you'll have a rather hardy, they're relatively hardy, they aren't too picky without about their water parameters, a pH between 6 and about 7.5 is what they're about at, I'm about 6.5 here, and they do like the 6 to 7.5 pH. They're not picky with hardness, they can live in soft water or hard water, as long as it's not really extreme. And um, now as for feeding, they are a carnivore for the most part, but they do like to have some supplementary algae in their diet, so a good flake food with uh, supplementary, supplementary algae in it, as well as uh, bloodworms, any type of good live, small, tiny live food like the fina and the... Um, well, as would I say, brine shrimp and all that. They'll like that. Now, as for their compatibility, the dwarf Grammy is peaceful. But, you got one thing about them is, like a bay of fish, they kind of vary a bit. So, some of the males, if you keep them with, like, say, some really brightly colored fish, they might get a little bit aggressive. But, that all depends on your tank size. But, and, um, when you're keeping them together, is pretty much when you go to dealer shops, pretty much 90 or so percent of them are all male. And the problem with keeping the males together is you got they're quite territorial, so for every male you keep, you gotta have quite a bit of space. So with a 36 gallon, you keep two males. Well, sorry, not 36. With a 36 inch long tank, you keep two males. 48 inch long tank, three males. And then a tank like my size, which is about 60 inches long, I could probably keep four males. Maybe. So they could each have their territorial space. And, um, these guys are kind of hard to film. I'm sorry if I can't keep them in focus all the time. And, um, one thing I'd like to show is that Dwarf Grammys, they kind of really like these floating plant covers because they're kind of shy. And my guy, he's kind of like the little guy in the tank, so if a bigger fish chases him or something like that, he can always go hide in, like, the plant cover here or plant cover here. But I wish I just had like a denser planted tank and maybe the dwarf grammy would enjoy that a bit more. So the dwarf grammy is because of its health problems and all that it's not like a beginner fish. I guess it's for someone who has at least over two years of experience of fish keeping. And it's a small grammy. They're good for tank sizes 10 gallons and up. Um, they got some pretty interesting behavior so one thing kind of interesting is you can sometimes get them to spit water, kind of like an archer fish. Well, they can't spit as far as an archer fish. I've seen one spit about six inches or so, about six inch projectile of water. So they're interesting in that manner. So your dwarf Grammy, if you're going to keep them, remember keep them at a high temperature. I'd say 26 degrees. They seem to have lower disease incidence at higher temperatures, like say at 28 degrees or so, and. The Dwarf Grammy is a community fish, all around good with, there are lots of showing fish. They're a bit iffy with our Grammys and Betas, but if you got a bigger tank, it's not really as much of a problem. So, that's why I know about Dwarf Grammy. Thanks for watching, please rate, comment, and subscribe.